Namaskaram everyone. Today is a special day, right? Today is Guru Purnima. So what is so special about uh, Guru Purnima? Hmm? You know, there are multiple interpretations, multiple stories around uh, Guru Purnima. The first, the most famous one is that Guru Purnima is the day when Adi Yogi or Shiva, he gave the science of yoga okay, or taught the science of yoga to Sapta Rishis, the seven great Rishis, okay, to spread the knowledge of yoga across the world. So that's the first story. You have got another story whereby, you know, Vyasa. Vyasa is the Maharshi who wrote the Vedas or who compiled the Vedas. He didn't actually you know, create the Vedas, he compiled the Vedas. Uh, today, Guru Purnima is the birthday of Vyasa. Okay. Vyasa is the person who collated all the Vedas and made it understandable for us to you know, comprehend. Okay. Otherwise, the Vedas were a bit difficult to understand. So he's the one who compiled all of this together to make it understandable for common people like us. Okay. So it is also celebrated as the birthday of Vyasa. And the third thing is, you know, Buddha. Buddha, after achieving enlightenment, okay, he gave his first teachings to his students. And that day is also celebrated as Guru Purnima. Right? So you have got all these things. Okay? So different people celebrate Guru Purnima and uh, different explanations for Guru Purnima. But there is a common thread in all three. If you look very closely, there is a common thread in all three. Can you think about it? Hmm? There is a common thread. Right? Now, before we go into the common thread itself, I would like to discern what Guru means or to understand what is the meaning of Guru. What does Guru mean? Gu, Ru. Okay. Gu is darkness, Ru means removing. Right? A person who removes darkness is Guru. So how does he remove darkness? It is darkness of ignorance, right? So he is imparting knowledge to you so that you can remove that darkness within us. So the knowledge he is imparting or he or she is imparting helps us remove that darkness within us, darkness of ignorance. So that is the actual function of a guru. Right? That is the meaning of a guru. Now if you look at all three stories, it is all about knowledge. Okay, all these great teachers were imparting great knowledge to remove our ignorance. Right? So that is a common thread in all of this. Now, how do you celebrate Guru Purnima? You know, people say that, okay, you have to bow down to your Guru, you have to request his blessing, you fall at his feet. Is that the way you should be celebrating Guru Purnima? Or, you know, how, how do you do it? Right? Your Guru he doesn't, he or she doesn't require to fall on his or her feet. Okay, that's not something which they are looking for. Right? Very clear. Now, what are they looking for? What they are actually looking for is for you to listen to whatever they have taught you. Incorporate that into your daily life. Okay. And then be messengers of that knowledge to everyone around you. Okay. Not your own knowledge, whatever your guru has taught you. You know, don't, um, you know, so some people, you know, most of the people these days, there are more gurus than teachers these days, right? Everybody wants to be a guru. Okay, so this is not you know, asking everybody to aspire to be gurus. That might be dangerous. Right? That's not the case, right? People like to be gurus these days, right? More than students, they like to be gurus. That is not the case. Here, what I'm saying is that whatever you have learned from your guru or gurus, you incorporate that into your daily life, okay? 
feel the difference it is making in your daily life. Only once you have found that difference, then you start, you know, expounding that knowledge to as many people as possible. Not before that. Okay, don't go and transmit unnecessary book knowledge. A lot of people are like this, you know, they, they read 10 books, 20 books, 100 books, okay, whatever they have gleaned out of all these books, they go and start preaching because they like to be gurus, right? That is not what we are talking about here. Okay, first of all, you start incorporating that into your daily life, right? Start realizing the benefits of it. Once you have start realizing the benefits of it, okay, start, you know, expounding that knowledge to as many people as possible. Okay, this is how you celebrate Guru Purnima. Okay, not about, you know, falling at Guru's feet, you know, asking for his blessings. If you do this, you have his blessings or her blessings. Right? If you incorporate these teachings into your daily life, right, and start realizing the benefits, you already have the blessings of your teacher. You don't have to ask for it. Okay. Happy Guru Purnima.